Iron sharpens iron and steel sharpens steel. This incredibly well-preserved 1943 steel sand is one of the most valuable regular struck wartime pennies you'll ever see. Visually pristine CAC approved superb gem in mint state 68 plus. The collector is seeking the finest in technical quality and eye appeal. In an example of the historic steel sand type of 1943, need to look no further than this Georgia superb gem. Silky smooth surfaces are free of even the most trivial blemishes. High the lustrous both sides are fully endowed with lovely satin to softly frost that mint luster. Fully struck with a bright, fresh appearance, this virtually perfect example is sure to have no difficulty finding its way into high-ranked Lincoln Sand collections on the PCGS set registry. This numismatic monster ended up selling for $33,600 at Stax Bowers auction. Here is 1986 Lincoln Sand in Mint State 69 Red, highly elusive specimen of the 1986 only slight imperfection prevents this coin from ultimate grade, that is MS-70. Coins that receive an MS-69 grade typically have no visible flaws, hairline scratches, or blemishes on their surfaces. They also have a strong luster and overall eye appeal. PCGS reported only two 1986 specimens in this grade so far. It was sold for $14,000. $62.50 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Moving on with his 2004 Lincoln Cent with double die reverse. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS, the 2004 Lincoln Cent DDR is considered a rare and valuable variety, particularly in uncirculated condition. It has become sought after by collectors and is often included in collections of Lincoln Cents. The value of the coin depends on its condition and the degree of doubling with some examples selling for thousands of dollars. Doubling of 2004 is not that dramatic as in 1969 or 1955 pennies. Only under close inspection comparing with other pennies, you can spot that error. Main indicator is the lettering E Pluribus Unum, the dots in particular. They have bulgy oval shape instead of a round. When compared side by side with the regular penny, difference becomes apparent. So these MS67 gem ended up selling for $9,028.12 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. This is 1941 Lincoln sent in Mint State 66. This one was double die obverse. There are three different cherry pickers varieties of double die obverse 1941 cents. FS103 has the greatest spread among those three varieties, but because the initial hop impression was light, the doubling is primarily visible on the 19 in the day, and the TI in Liberty as the base of the ear. This is an outstanding example with seamless orange gold color, dazzling luster, a good strike, and flawless surfaces. It was sold for $9,200 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to this error penny, 1999 Lincoln Sand was of worse counter brocage. Graded in mean state 65 read by PCGS. A Lincoln set of worse counter brocage is a type of mint error that occurs during the coinage process. When a coin is minted, a metal blank is fed into the coining press and is stamped with the design of the coin. However, in the case of counter brocage error, a previously minted coin gets stuck in the press and is unable to eject. This causes the next blank to strike against the struck coin, essentially creating a mirror image of the design on the first side. A counter brocage occurs when an error coin with a brocage is struck into a planchet. This error sent ended up selling for $1680 at Heritage Auctions. And here is another 1941 Lincoln cent, but this one not struck for circulation. Grade as proof 67 plus read by NGC. The PR67 plus grade of the coin refers to its condition. The coin was struck as a proof coin, which means it was specially made for collectors and was not intended for circulation. Proof coins are usually made with greater care than the regular coins, resulting in a higher level of detail and more polished appearance. A PR67 plus grade is considered to be a high grade indicating that the coin has only minor flaws or blemishes and is nearly in perfect condition. In terms of its value, the 1941 Lincoln Cent PR67 Plus is considered to be rare and highly sought after by coin collectors. This one ended up selling for $5,512 
and 50 cents with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Thanks for watching guys, like, share and comment. See you in the next episode.